Hello everybody, Calum here. Welcome to a brand new live stream slash video whenever you, whatever you're watching this on. And in um, this live stream, we're continuing Nino Kuni Wrath of the Light, which, yeah, I didn't say um, on uh, Wednesday, in the last video, I was going to do one Thursday, which was the next day. But I didn't have time to do it because I wanted to do something else. I heard it's not trippy over. But, yeah, and, um, what's it called? Pretty much, I just wanted to do something else, and, uh, yeah. Pretty much, yeah, you, and also, um, when I said in the last video to do this game Saturday, Sundays, and Mondays, that's still going to be applied, but not this week. I'll just be doing today and tomorrow, but Monday is a different story. I couldn't, I won't have time to record that, but don't worry. There will, I'll try and do one either Wednesday or Thursday the next week as well, so don't worry. But yeah, if you didn't, I just want to get that out of the way first before we get into any gameplay stuff. So I'm going to try and make these these two today and tomorrow's streams a bit longer. Maybe not this stream, but next video, next episode, then yes, I will. I'll try and make them a bit longer. Because it's Saturday and I want to chill out, so. But I just, I don't think, I just didn't want to, like, cancel this. So I just want, I just thought, like, do today, do to have a, today have a, like, not a short stream, but. I sh I t I no, not like a big, a long stream, and then tomorrow we'll be a longer one, and then Wednesday or Thursday we'll go back to how it was, and then you know that's pretty much how it's gonna work. But if you didn't see the last episode, um, we pretty much got stuff sold. We pretty much started off what we were doing, and then um, so we pretty much made our way into Ding Dong Dell, where we need to uh, get a magic wand for something. I forgot the reason why, and we need to buy some new clothes because um. Our clo my clothes that I'm wearing right now are pretty much out of place here. So um, we need some new clothes on the sides which are pointing right over here. So I'm guessing this is where we need to go. Hey bro. Oh no, remember her voice. <laughs> Excuse me, mom. Do you sell clothes from the this what? I mean, do you sell regular clothes? No, do you remember when I actually uh, um, did a? Do you remember my voice from that I did in the in my original let's play? Oh my god! Um, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go my, for my original voice that I did um, ages ago. But you know, let's give it a go. Cloves, dear. Oh, hoot. I'm afraid we do not have any in stock at the moment. Oh, don't tell us that, man. Have you seen how the boy's dressed? He's a flipping embarrassment. He's getting funny looks wherever we go. My street cred is in ruins. Who? A fairy. I used to see your kind all the time. But I bet children these days don't even know who you are. You're telling me? Kids these days, man. Disrespectful, ignorant, and downright rude. They wouldn't know a fairy if they kid them right in the flipping shins. Not like you, eh, missus? Uh, no, now about these clothes. Yes, dear. Who? <laughs> I can't do this. But I'm going to do it because it's content in it. Who? Let me think now. Ah, now I come to think of it. There was a traveller who left a set of clothes here once upon a time. He bought a new outfit, you see, so he left his old one behind. Who for human shapes? Is it cheap? Oh, is it? And cheap? I shouldn't doubt. I shouldn't doubt. Tidy, we'll take it. But Mr. Drippy. Yes, yes, now I remember. He was the one who. <laughs> I can't do this. Yes, he said they were very special clothes made from fabric woven from the fibers of the sky tree, if I remember rightly. Lovely, comfortable, and extremely hard wearing, and rocky to. <laughs> what does that even mean? I think the only problem would be is the size. If it's who you who are going to wear this outfit, dear, I need a few hours to make some alterations. Hold on. No. No. It would look huge on you otherwise. Could you come back tomorrow morning? Of course we can, man. How about it then, Ori boy? That's lucky. Nito, thank you very much, man. Whoo! Oh, no, I'm not reading that line. <laughs> My last time it went... Didn't go very well. Tomorrow's flipping ages away, man. 
I like to go see the King right away, but we can't go until your outfit's sorted. I guess not. What are we doing until tomorrow? I know that guard's on the gate said something about getting some card from a place in town, innit? Something solutions. I think he said the name of the shop was the one we just went in. The boutique. That's the other one. Was it Swift Solutions? There's Quiver of you. That's the one. I knew it had to be some type of bird. Nice one, Ollie boy. The stores there do have goofy names. You reckon? They're just named after what they look like. Anyway, off to Swift, Solu Swift Solutions. I can't read. Um. Right, where is it anyway? Look at that map. It was over there. It's simple enough. Is Swift a type of bird? I don't know. Hold on, give me a sec. It's not in here. Sorry about that. Alright, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Look at this. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I thought, because my cousin just, um, my auntie, my auntie and that just, um, had a visit just before I started, and my cousin might have left the phone here, so I just needed to, um, see if it wasn't in my room still. Alright, let's continue. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where those in need come to, alright. I don't, I don't care. To be rich, as you, um, because this is going to take a while. So, in other words, my journal, huh? I think I got it. So pretty much as you as you help people around in other towns that you come across, you pretty much um as in other towns you like you come across off in your journey, you pretty much um you pretty much um what's it called? You pretty much get like merit stamps, what that god said if you didn't see the last episode, and then um you get like other you can get like certain abilities if you do certain tasks. But that's pretty much to summarise. Because that was pretty pointless to me, and it's for my original last play, and it's still pointless now, so. Okay, so now we have to head to the cat's cradle. See, mums. I'm going to try to do some weathering up as well, I've not really had a chance to level up yet. Welcome to the cat's cradle, chain of permium per inns. We provide ourselves with per precise, or whatever. Yeah, stay why not? I have I can't really do anything else until hand. Your custom is always appreciated. You look a little unusual. You're a traveller, I presume. Then I, rec I, re I encourage you to take a nap at each of our inns, wherever your travels may take you. All right. Thank you very much. Absolutely not, sir. No. I'm not. I am not sidekick. I don't know where everything is. Hey, look at your wizard's companion. <laughs> there's something different about it. Hey, yeah, there's useful. The memories of your travels who stayed here have filled it back up a bit. Gee, I never expected that. Why the heck not? Man, it's just a flipping mighty spell book, ain't it? We best stay at as many of these inns as we can. I guess so. Right, bedtime and also tea time for me. I could drink my tea while while this is going on. While we sleep, while, while we sleep. Oliver. Oh, what Oliver. the hell? What the hell? I'm in Narnia. Mom. You've done so well to make it this far, Oliver. I've not, I've not done anything yet. Is this a dream? You must listen to me now, Oliver. You have to go to him, to face him. And when you do, you'll learn the truth. Promise me, no matter how hard it is. Him? Mom, who's him? Mom, what do you mean? He's someone very... Important to both of us. But who is he? And where do I have to go? It's all right, sweetie. You're already on your way. Don't give up, Oliver. No matter how hard it gets. Mom? Mom? Mom! I bet that's your daughter, innit? It has to be. I don't really see any other reason for it. Morning, young man. What a perfect grief I morning is, too. You slept well, I hope? Excellent. You'll be on your way now. I expect, well, if you happen across any other cat's cradles in your travels, be sure to stay with us again. Time, I see you soon. Right, right, all boy. Back to the owl shop, innit? Okay. Mom. I bet that was Shadar. It has to be. Who else would it be? This is the... 
when she said to face him, there's like the whole reason I'm doing this in the first place. I don't really see who else is I need to look out for. But you know. I, where am I going? Oh, it's this way. I don't really see where else I have to. What I'm, who I'm going to face apart from Shadar. So it has to be Sh Shadar. Maybe Shadar's like. You know how. Because um, like, Jippy said in the last episode, like. Um, people's souls can. Like, because. Um, all of this world and Jippy's world are like. Like. Uh, intertwined if that makes sense pretty much like they have like soulmates so pretty much if pretty much one person from my world is like come like because let's see if we use my mum as an example here so all, all of us all of us mum so all of us mum is great is a soulmate with the great stage of Ishia. so there's pretty much another version of them from the, the other world and then they could look like each other. So this is the whole reason why I'm doing this in the first place. Maybe should our soulmates with my with my dad or something? Because I, we don't even know what happened to all of his dad, or if he even exists in period. So, God, stupid voice again. <sighs> who, who? There you are, dearie. You'll be happy to hear that your clothes are ready. Tidy, best tie the men on a holy boy. Sure. I'll just pop back and get them for you, dear. Wait here, I shan't be a moment. Yes, Mom, thank you very much. What do you think? Huh? Oh, this trendy! You look proper sharp, Ollie boy! Why have I got a cape on? Is this a little goofy I mean, a cape? Don't be silly, dear. The hoots you straight to the ground. Or whatever that says, I'm not reading properly. Thank you very much, Mom. How, many, how much do we owe you? Who for those old things? Don't be silly, dear. You'll be doing me a favor just getting them off my hands. Where are you sure? Who, who, who? I can't remember the last time I did any sewing. It was an absolute hoot, dear. Think nothing of it. All I ask for is you pop by and pop back and buy a little something from time to time. You'll do that for me, won't you, dear? Of course we will. Thanks, missus. There's Rocky Oi, boy. Looks like we all just paid another visit or three. We sure do. You're playing a set of travelers' clothes. Oh, I see, mums. Now you gotta get some dapper duds. Now we can head to the palace. Tidy. Time to go meet the king. I'm kind of nervous. Well, I'm not. I don't blame you, Oliver. Right, see you later, Mrs. I'm over. Um, <coughs> right, objective complete. So where do we have to go? Okay, we have to go straight. I love this town, man. I love. It's just people's like. It's like a, it's like a cat's palace or something. Well, I think like a, the cat king owns it. This feels like me and Salem's habitat right now. <laughs> well, Michael, Gavin, and Ray's habitat as well. Hey guys, oh look, it's cats. This is definitely my Salem's. Me Sal. Oh, where am I going? Me Salem, ja Michael, Gavin, and Ray's habitat right now. Welcome to Ding Dong Dell. This is the road that leads to the royal palace. You are travelers, I take it. You must be in those clothes. Yes, we've come to see the king. Ah, you have to have an audience with King Tom, are you? Well, I'll be more than happy to let you through. But I'm afraid that's not possible at this moment. Ugh. I think I'm reading this a bit too quick. Huh? But why? One of the king's hapless idols has allowed his meow beloved pet face to escape into the palace moat. The red herring is the king's pride and joy, and a highly endangered species to boot. I doubt Mr. his meowdacy would be able to replace this one if he were to lose it. Was that what that I that I'd was always was thinking? I don't know. Anyway, I cut a long story short. Everyone in the castle is looking for it. I advise you to come back another day. All right, but what are we going to do, Mr. Drippy? That palace moat is it, eh? If I'm not mistaken, that moat connects us to some of the rivers that run through town. You think he could have swam all the way to town? I reckon it's possible. Why don't we have a look? He can't do any harm. He sure can't. Hope we find it. Me too, Ollie boy. Let's let's go fishing. Right. I swear this game finds any way for you to backtrack. But never mind. My throat hurts already. Yeah, reading this game. Yeah, when I'm playing it off camera, I don't have to worry about like reading or anything, so I can just skip the dialogue. But with this, I kind of—I well, don't have to, but 
It just makes the experience a bit better. For some reason. Look at all your boys, that red thing over by there. Huh? I'm looking, I found our fishy friend. You better go take a look. I Me, mean, why do I have to go? Well, who else is gonna do? Freddy the fish inspector. Go on, just hop on the ritzy bits of wood, you'll be fine. Okay, I'll get or try. Well, I haven't got any other option here, have I? Ah! Ah! Nick, has he got away? I'm so sorry. He's arrived doing alright. I think he went towards the palace. Oh, oh, boy, after him. Why is my man coming back over there? Right, let's go. Go, go, Power Rangers! Well, this is very slow, I can't lie. Hey, bro. Bye, bro. I haven't got time right now. I've, I've got um, world to save, innit? AKA finding a fish for the Cat King. That sounds very pathetic when you think about it. Okay, where did it go? Okay, the star's pointing that way, so we, we'll head that way then. Hey, bro. That's a very weird smile, I can't lie. Go, go, Power Rangers. What's in this pot anyway? I don't think you want to. I don't think you're gonna want to get any pie from what you just saw in there, from a, just a random pot. So this is the king's favorite fish, hey? Tidy. That's the. That's a red herring if I ever saw one. Now we can get ourselves an onions with the king. Let's head back and see the palace got, shall we? There you go. That was easy enough. Look at your fish, look at a drip, a drippy just carrying it the whole way. Sure, if a fish went out of water, it's more likely gonna die, so, um. That is not gonna. That's not really helping anything. You again? I'm afraid we still haven't located the King Tom's pet yet. This one, you mean? We came to deliver the King's fish back to him, sir. Is that goodness? I know the regal scarlet tones of the sea is King's beloved red herring anywhere. Well, I'll be. I reckon we he must have swam through the sewers into town like. Is that so? I must let the other girls know right away. And if I remember right where you were... That's right, we need to see the king. Yes, of course. But with him in his current state... What's that? Something up is there? You could say that. Did I mention that the person charged with caring for the king's... King's red herring just let it escape? Everyone... In the palace have grown terribly lax of late, so lax we need to enlist the help as help of passing travellers like you. <sighs> I probably shouldn't tell you this, but the king himself has been insolent, personified, whatever that says, and it seems to be rubbing off on the subjects. You mean like laziness? I'm afraid so. Well, perhaps being reunited with his beloved red herring will give him the boost that he needs. In you go. Tidy, we'll have to see the king. Come on, are we, boy? Thank God I can rest my voice for a bit. I oh, love these anime cutscenes, man. A pleasure to meet you, you and me, Algisty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one, hmm? That's right. I yes, you and me, Algisty. Hmm. And you wish for a prize, hmm? Um... Go on, man. Ask him. Uh... Come now, don't be shy. Well, you and me, Algisty... Out with it now! We need your wand! <sighs> One's wand. Man. <sighs> huh? What did you say? <laughs> that, okay, that one has. <laughs> that smell. Could it be? That's right, you of Yaugisti. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? You Once you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... Hmm. Hmm. It's not one's concern. 
You may not have the wand. Now be gone. Does that mean no wand, Mr. Droopy? Looks like it. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> so how do we get the wand now? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken-hearted he is, or I'm broken-headed. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken-hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? The god outside of town was shot on enthusiasm too, eh? Indeed he was, boy, like I say. I reckon the king's broken heartedness is dragging everyone else down with him. But the other god gave us some of his enthusiasm to his help his friend. Should we go ask him for some more? No, 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 man. Don't be doing that. There's a very important rule about borrowing piece of people's hearts. There is? What is it? Well, you can't go taking the same piece of heart from the same person twice, see? One little scoop off, the top is all is safe to borrow. See, I didn't know that. I'll be sure to be careful from now on. So what do you do, Mr. Trippy? We look through the town and see if there's anyone else with... We get up and go, our plenty, ain't it? It's a sleepy old place. Uh, there's bound to be someone around here somewhere. The only problem is where Ding Dong Dell's not exactly village rice. After all, you could say it's proper massive. I guess it kind of is, hey. It's, it's someone of a qu and qu whatever that says, are we? Frippin' leg, man, don't scare me like that. Oh, hi, Mr. Sevenstone. You seem puzzled, my young friend. I know it doesn't say puzzled, but I can't read that word, so let's move on. I thought you might benefit from a dose of my expansive knowledge. Thanks, that's real nice of you. You see, we need to borrow a piece of someone's heart to... But we don't know who or how to find one. <coughs> hmm. Elementary, my dear Oliver. In times like these, just look at your lock heat. But how do we do that? What, what do you mean? Well... Not only it can carry peace on people's heart, the rocket is also extremely sensitive to its proximity. It will grow when it's somebody when it, when, it, when, it, when it's nearby. Someone tidy, so we can use it to track on some enthusiasm and then, shall we? Oh, for God's sake! I know how the game works. You will need that in. It has a habit of growing brightly from time to time. That's when it's someone that needs help in it. Nito, it will not serve you which of the virtues, whatever that says, the subject has in excess, but it should still improve, ex whatever that says, useful to you nonetheless. I just know it will. Thank you so much, Mr. Terrenstone. And if you're ever going to find yourself in any knowledge again, you may consider me worry at your service. Farewell for now, my friends. Right, oh, Ollie boy. Let's have a look around for someone with a drop of enthusiasm to spare, shall we? If your rocket grows up all of a sudden, we know we're on the right track. Got it, let's go. Alright, uh, well, okay, the stars point me over this way, so let's head over that way, I guess. <laughs> the of reading in this episode compared to the last one. Yeah, I know that that's, these are the kind of games that will do that, but... I'm not saying I have a problem with reading in this game, I don't, it just... Well, I, I, but like I said earlier, when I'm not doing videos on this, it won't really matter because I could just skip. But, obviously when I'm doing a red spare and you, because people wouldn't want to read, I just want to, I'll just read it myself. Oh yeah, do, I might need a, a new sword for like Sonic, because when I first familiar, I named it after my good boy Sonic. So, can I actually do anything with this? Oh, shut up, you dirty, snotty dickhead. So, pretty much, I need a new sword for my good buddy Sonic. Because um, I named a familiar after my friend for Sonic, for Sonic from Epic Road, so. Ooh, shiny. Look, Mr. Chippy, he's growing. Tidy, and there's someone around him with a piece of despair, heart to spare, innit? <laughs> hey, my G. The only person around here is him. And look at him, man. He can barely stand still. He's so eager. Jackpot. You mean he has someone has someone enthusiasm to spare? 
that I do, my lad. I bet my lantern on it. Let's go and get it, shall we? Hey, bro. How do you saw this pan head? Don't suppose you fancy doing us a favor here, will you? Hey, don't distract to me. I'm busy. Busy? What are you doing exactly? Protecting the town from the mice, of course. Mice? Oh, yeah. I remember hearing about the mice who lived in Ding Dong Dell. Ding Dong Wet Dell. Those mice are a menace, always running around, getting up to no good. But the grown-ups are too easy to do anything about it, so most of them have hardly noticed that when the mice still thinks, and the ones they and they don't seem to care. Well, Tommy Stout Stout is not going to stand for it. I know the mice are all living down in the well, and so I'm sending God here. Any mice that comes this way is going to get in for a battering fam. Well, well, we're, we're we will ride about this one. He's bursting with enthusiasm. Over to you, Ollie boy. What are you talking about? Well, King Tom needs very short enthusiasm right now. And that's where you come in, Tommy. That's where you come in, Tommy boy. You've got loads of the stuff. If we give some to the king, the whole town might sort itself out. So we're wondering if we can borrow a few of your enthusiasm with us. Of course, I'd do anything to help the king. Thanks, Tommy. Well, that was, that was easy enough. Thank you, my G. Wow. Thanks, bro. You're my G. Right, you obtained some enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Wow, that was strange. Well, now I know what that magic feels like. Strange. What do you mean? Non-wizarding types aren't used to spells, innit, Ollie boy? They don't know what to make with them half the time. So does that mean King Tom is going to be all right now, Oliver? Yes, and now the king's back to normal. Everyone else will be too. That's right, man. Your enthusiasm is going to help us spring in everyone's step. That's great to hear. Until then, I better keep an eye on the mice. All right, see you later, Tommy. You know what? I hate... <laughs> Maybe I was wrong about reading. I'm going to try and get a new sword for Sonic at some point. Because um, I don't think this... Because obviously you need to keep upgrading your sword. Because the sword that you're going to have is not going to like help you in the wrong one. It's not going to help in like... Like, uh, like not that long time anyway. So we're going to need to um, upgrade his sword at some point. But we're not allowed to do that yet apparently. Maybe after we um, give the king his enthusiasm back, he might, um, you know, give us permission to use that shop again. Hey, bro. Bruh, 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 bruh. Thank God he doesn't stop me this time. You again. One is becoming rather tired of these constant interruptions. So, you your meow, just see, it's just we have something for you. We picked that especially for you, cat face. I'll get rid of that tiredness of yours in no time. Give us a new lease of life. I'm not sure that will. That sounds like just a ticket. Alright, screw this. Not to worry, your meow, just see, a little bit of enthusiasm is all you need, innit? Right, let's do this. Bing, bang, bong, you know. My eyes! So, do you think it works? Let's see, shall we? Hmm, what the devil was one up to? Your meow, Justy, please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah? Why, one is ten times more energetic than one has ever been. But one feels different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your Meow Justy, it seems that these brave adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. Uh, what? Is this true? Yes, Your Meow Justy. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Hmm, is that so? One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one is in your debt. Let's go! Give me the wand! What would you claim as your prize, hmm? Tidy, you know what to ask for, didn't we, boy? Uh, we need a magic wand, your meow just see. Hmm, is that so? Strangely, one feels like he's been accessed before. One now thinks of it, there's, there is a wand prize very highly for a kitten hidden away in one's bedchamber. There is, eh? And? And one would be willing to part with it, but one will have to find it first. Wait, return later on, and one shall present it to you. Jeepers, thank you very much, your meow just see. 
So, boy, if you're in search of a wand, can one take it? You are perhaps a wizard? Indeed, he is, your Majesty. A shiny new apprentice wizard. Doesn't know exact. Who doesn't know. Who doesn't exactly know much magic yet, I am. Hmm, is that so? What would we provide you with a few spells? Really? Thank you very much, your Majesty. That's kind of you, bro. Okay, Spring Rock. Rejuvenate. Whoa. You must enjoy the spells that that inspired one so much in one's younger days. One that unlocks things and one that restores things to his former glory. What did you use to get up with, there, with these, your majesty? None of your business, fairy. Now, boy. You travel through the familiar. You travel with the familiar, do you not? One has, one has sent word to the... Oh, that's the store I went in earlier. To give you permission to shop there. What kind of place is that? I wish he went in it like five minutes ago. No matter. He will give you stuff for your familiars, innit? So we sure will. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Now one that's ready to attend to. Please present yourself later, innit? Right, now we can head back to that shop. There you go. My man King Tom's back to normal. Ugh. Excuse me, I think reading too much is hurting my throat a bit. Right, uh, right. Let's enter that store because that's what I really wanted to do. Hey, bro. There it is. Let me see, let me try to pick out a sword that's going to be useful to Sonic. Because um, Sonic is my G in real life and in my epic world. Well, not in real life, um, in this game and my epic world. I have, bro. Caught it's you. You me out just to inform me that you would be coming. He instructed me to serve you whatever it is that you require. I'd be more than happy to cooperate. So have a look around, shall we? Alright, let's go. Fam, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I already know. Fam, man, so stupid. Fam, I killed don't care. Fam, I just. Pick this. Right, see you later, bro. Return, okay, we're, now, now we head back to the palace. Bloody hell. You could say I'm getting exercise in this game. Jesus Christ. Right, let's go. There's a lot of exercising around this bloody town, isn't it? But I'm obviously a part of the game, it's probably gonna get a bit worse, so I should probably shut up moaning, but I bet Oliver's losing like having like he's doing his exercising. Cause I bet he never he never really did exercise and look at him. He's on the exercise grind. Well, let's speak to these guys. I've already... Is he talking about the red herring? I've literally just got it, you dum dum. There we... Oh, no. This is good. This is something... Something's up, innit? Something's up. He's not there. I can already... I can already feel it in my bones. Look at him. He's worried as well. Oh, it's you. Thank goodness. You have to help us. Something terrible has happened. Flippin' egg, man. You don't tell me King Tom's gone and got himself broken out again. No, no. It's now just his heart is in good working order. As far as I know. As far as you know. After you restored his Meowjesty's misenthusiasm, he was determined to find his old wand so he could give it to you as a way of reward. So, and uh, so determined, in fact, he said he would go and rock it for him for himself. Well, that's not good, innit? That's good, that's good, innit? What's all the fuss about? His Meowjesty has appeared, eh? The Geekuber's sway never left Ding Dong Dell, and he's yet nowhere to be found. I smell a rat by uh, Ollie Boy. I, I suppose there's only one thing for it, eh? What's that, Mr. Trippy? A spot in the vest again, innit? Righto, helmet face, you and your mate keep an eye on the castle, we're gonna run for Cruz. Oh yes, understood. But where do we look, Mr. Trippy? Don't worry, boy, you know the place, you know it very well, in fact. Come on, I'll tell you more when we're outside. Okay. Well, where are we going then? And what, Mr. Trippy, and that's, and what is this place that I know very well? Where do you think, Clever Crocs? Motorville, innit? Motorville? Well, what does Motorville, Motorville have to do with finding the king? 
Well, the answer ain't always gonna be over by here, isn't it, Ollie boy? Huh? What does that mean? <sighs> you gotta remember the whole soul thing, soulmate thing, innit? And what we see in the world ain't always the whole picture. Soulmates, okay. Think about it, Ollie boy. Why are, all he, why are you here in your world? Say my mum. Exactly. Your mum is the greatest age to reach your soulmate. And we're trying to free Arishi from the snow soul snare over by here so we can help bring your mum back over by there, innit? So, well, that's what you told me anyway. And I wasn't fibbing, so people in your world and my world are connected, not just Arishi and your mum. All people. They are, so... Exactly, that's clever, you. Uh, there's someone over in your world that's connected to King Tom over by here. And when someone in your world is in a pot, you can help sometimes help, help find out how to help them help, help their soul mate over in your world. Because they're connected, see? Obvious when you think about it, ain't it? Somebody in my world is connected to King Tom. That's right. But maybe not a person. Maybe not in a lofty position over by our cat king friend. Huh? The shopkeeper's cat and Ding Dong Dell. No, wait. Well, the shopkeeper's cat and Ding Dong Dell. King of Ding Dong Dell ain't exactly similar status wise. Shopkeeper's cat. I don't think. Uh, to be honest, man, it's, it's like pulling teeth, alright? Um, so when you see son King Tom, oh, Timmy, Tim, yeah, King Tom and Timmy told him, or, but Mr. Ray was cat, but that's right, that's clever, you better wait than ever, but Mr. Jibby, Timmy's just a cat, exactly, just like our pal King Tom, what's so strange about that, crikey, you have not very perspective for a youngster, are you, if two people are soulmates, there's similarity somewhere, right, Spot the Timmy Rogers and you have find the soulmate. Gee, I never knew. But so Timmy Timmy indeed, my lad. If we could find that fat old furball, we might get a clue on what's happened to King Tom. So yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's go. Bloody hell. That's a lot of reading, I can't lie. Right, I'm out of this, see ya. I bet everyone just saw me like, oh, where did that kid go? <laughs> he just disappeared. Ah, back home. Right, let's go find Timmy. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I right, open the door. Hey, bro. Oh, over. See you. I just don't know what to say, dear. It's fine, Mr. Rover. I'm okay now. You are? Well, I'm really pleased to see that, honey. Hear that, honey. But if there's anything I could do, just let me know. Actually, there is something you can do for me right now. Do you know where Timmy is? Is he in the store? Well, now that you mention it, I actually don't know where he is. Timmy! Timmy, where's my Timmy told you? He must have run off somewhere, that little rascal. He's probably got exploring. Oi, oi, boy. Does this little situation remind you of something? Yeah, it does. Is this what happened to King Tom? Bingo! We got ourselves a missing cat in one world and a missing fat cat in another. And I reckon the reason will as well be the same. Track down Timmy and it will be sure to find. Tell us all the mystery. Yeah, that's shop are you and this is your patch in it, right? I'm awfully sorry I couldn't help you, dear. But you did help, thanks, Miss Raver. I did well. Alright then. Goodbye now, hope dear. Bye, Miss Raver. Right, don't worry, boy. Let's start out where you know best, shall we? By your house, innit? Sure, let's go. Bloody hell, it's a hard time reading all this stuff. You could hear me mess up like like two five times at all like two five times. In one street, probably not, probably not even five times, more than five times. Okay, so where do we look? Okay, the sword's at my house. <clears throat> it has to be here somewhere. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, Drippy was very, very fascinated about that cow, wasn't he? So a bit, oh, oh no, it's that weird girl, isn't it? P, or whatever the name was. Oliver. I'm so sorry, Oliver. It's you. We haven't looked in your house yet, are we, boy, have we? I want to have a check over by here. I'll show Mr. Chippy. I'm sorry, Oliver. I am sorry you all are on. Huh? Your mummy. You know about that? When mum died, I thought she'd be gone forever. I thought I would be all alone. But now, now that I can help her, I just need to finish where I started. And I wanted to ask you, that wand, the one I, f the one I found, 
Did you leave it for me? Without it, I would could have never got to the other world. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about, but if it wasn't... It hadn't been for that wand, I'd still be all alone. Really? Really, really? Really, really. Hooray! Oh, back in, you can save your mummy all over. Thanks, but who are you? How do you know my name anyway? I am P. I've always known you're Oliver. Always? So your name is P, eh? Right, green... Never mind. Yes, I'm P. Um, hey, P. Have you seen a big fat cat? He's called Timmy Told You. He has striped all over and he's kind of fat. Mr. Kitty? Yeah, I know Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty? Yeah, take it to him all over. Follow me. She must mean Timmy, right? Oi, Oli boy! No sign about the fat old mong in, in your house. I'm afraid. What are you doing standing around anyway? I might just not want to find Timmy, Mr. Trippy. You do? How? Where? Hmm? For follow me. Please, Pika, show us. Eh, what is all this then? Oh, you are, right, Oli boy. Oh yeah, I don't think he get. I don't think he could see her. I don't know how he can't, but Drippy can't see. Her. I'm, I think I'm the only one who could see her. So. Run, Forest, run. Where, where is she going? Is this where Timmy is, P? Shh. Huh? Listen, what's that? Squeak, squeak. A mama mouse? Hey. Is there something through here? Is there? Timmy? <laughs> oh, Timmy boy, pull yourself together, man. Looks like you better take him back to Ravi, ain't it, Oddy boy? Yo, right, thank you so much for showing this pit. Wait, where did she go? Timmy's like, what the frick? What are you standing around for, Ravi? Right? Let's get a and move on. <laughs> Drippy's. Can we go this way? Yeah, I think well, I can go this way. I've not been, I've not been this way yet, so you know. Oh, I can't go onto the road. That's depressing. But no mind. Not been this way yet, so it's interesting to look. Man, uh, please don't get hit by a car. Please don't get hit by a car. Please don't get hit by a car. For good because I, I think I did that on the last episode, I got hit by a car. <clears throat> Mr. Ava, it's Timmy, he's. Oh goodness, my Timmy told you, whatever happened to you? Nothing, my guy. Oh, thank you, dearie. You brought him all the way back to home to mommy, was he heavy? Oh, no, not really. Is he okay? Oh, don't worry about Timmy Oliver. He's nothing serious. He says we're tired, aren't you, Timmy? Told you, Timmy dear. It doesn't take much to tie you, big old boy. Like you does it, Snook. Snook comes. Oh, I was shipping the snippet. I've avoided flipping the stick about him. But what was Timmy doing all the way down the garage? Well, dearie, one of my customers told me all about it. She said that Rusty's gar garage is crawling with mice. And my old Timmy told him just loves to chase the riddle devils. Timmy loves to chase mice, but he's so fat. Thank you so much, Oliver, dear. Now now I know where he keeps disappearing to. I can stop worrying about him. He's just trying to get rid of exercise, weren't you? My Timmy told him. I guess I could learn a thing of from the thing of learn a thing or two from you. To be right, you could. <laughs> okay, Miss Ray, I, was, I have to go now. It's nice seeing you. And you too, dearie. If there's anything you need, won't you? Just tell me, innit? Tidy, you've worked it out. As I expected, it ain't we boy. I don't think so, Mr. Drippy. Go on, man. It's Timmy. Timmy disappeared because he ran off chasing a mouse, isn't it? So the mouse is the clue. King Tong disappearance has to do with mice. Got it in one, exactly. But I'm sure I've heard someone say something about mice in over in your world. We should head back, we should head back to Ding Dong Dell and see if there's something missing. Right over there, Norway boy. I know... That bit didn't really, like, when I read it, it wasn't exactly how the text read it out, but 
You know, man, who cares? Yeah. I bet Miss Raven just saw it all over disappear. It's like, where the frick did he go? <laughs> right, back outside. I bet it's going to be something to do with right, right, that Tommy guy, right? You know, the guy who's guarding the mice outside. I bet it's got something to do with that little dotty snotty kid. I think we have to go into those sewers. Oh, brilliant. We have to go into the sewers, my favourite. <laughs> hey, over. I think I just hear King Tom's voice is coming down from the well. The well? Oh, I see mums. Yes, I could hear it coming from the other side of the gate. It was definitely King Tom. I'm sure of it. Ding dong well, eh? You said there was only mice moving down there. Yes, the place is full of mice. That's why I'm standing out here, keeping guard. Mice, mice and cats don't get along. Oh, Nick, I don't know what's happened. King Tom's been kidnapped by the mice. K kidnapped? That's right. You saw how Timmy went after the mice in your world. In this world, by here, the tables have turned. The only explanation, man, is crikey. It's a good job I'm here to put two and two together for you, innit? We need to rescue him. Are you going down Dingon Well all over? They're, they're coming with you. Don't be daft, man. This is a job for the professionals, innit? Not some underage vigilante with a saucepan for a helmet. I'll be okay. I have my friend with me. There's a monkey, my guy. Look at that, flipping familiar, well, I never. He followed me home when I went to play in the woods, and he's really strong. He'll be, if, I, if he's with me, I'll be fine. You don't quite get it, do you, Sunshine? Fighting with familiars is flipping hard. Your average person can't just jump into the fray and start ordering them about. You need to be a wizard like Ollie Boy here. Okay then, Oliver, you can have my familiar. Gee, thanks, Tommy, thank you very much. Alright. <laughs> if you didn't see the last episode, I was actually going to name it after my people helper, so, uh... Uh... I'm gonna name this one Stalwum, why not? Please say I can type his name as Stalwum. How do you spell his name? <laughs> I don't even know how to spell my own friend's name. That's very stupid of me. Right, where's the U? Yeah, let me just get my phone. I'm just, because I've got my Epic Girl Helpers, like, name saved on my phone just in case I forget them all. Because I have got a lot of helpers in my Epic Girl now. Uh, so, S T, wait. S T A. S T A L L. U M, alright. U U S U. U M. Yes, I want to. There you go. We better head down there, huh? Indeed, we had Ori Boy. We were too old, Tommy, my lad. Okay, be careful, Oliver. There you go, so I got a Star Room and Sonic and Star Room. Hey, Ori Boy. It looks like you can get a new familiar that psychens up. I, what does that mean? So he pretty much brings up. Like, people sizing up their strength pretty much, right? Let's go. I haven't got time to do this right now. The game's being kidnapped, fam. I've, I've, we've got stuff to do, innit? Right, so I've got two familiars now. Oh, uh, I think I'm going to use that spring lock spell. It looks like the gate is locked, holy boy. But the king's down there. We don't have the key. What are we going to do? Calm down, man. You don't need a king. You're a wizard, innit? Oh, yeah. We, oh, yeah. We had that spring lock, innit? See, why would he use MP? Pretty much wasted two of my MP. Tidy's open. Now we can go find the king. Indeed we can, we boy. Here we go. And you that spell to open rock chests as well. If you find any brew chests lying around, you can cast spring rock to open them. Okay, again. Okay. Alright, let's go! Okay, into the sewers. Brilliant. I never thought I'd say that in my lifetime. The ding dong well, where the pussy cats once fell. I didn't ask for this poetry. I wasn't. I'm not in English literature. Shut up. Crikey, it's damp and it has anything down by it. My lantern's gone all mouldy. If I don't watch out, it, it would really go mouldy. Oh no, fee five four from. I smell the blood of a bucket load of proper feisty beasties. Careful, Ollie boy. You have to watch yourself from here on in, ma'am. Things can get ugly. Okay, I will. Look well, quietly, Ori boy, there's a monster coming your, your way. Let's deal with it quick when you go find the king. Death the spirit. And then remember, you've got the other familiar that that lad gave you now as well, innit? Battle should be a bit easier with the two of the little bright brighters on your team. Double trouble. Neato. Right, battle time. Good, because we've not had any combat this video. We can do this. Okay, let's send a start. Let's send Sonic out because he's a beast. At last, double the familiars, double the fun, and double the possibilities. To swap it, yeah, I get the picture. I'm not stupid.
Oh, this sword is actually powerful as. Might do some, like, I'll probably do some grinding outside of the video. Between this video and the next video, maybe. Oh! Go on, Sonic, you beautiful son of a. There you go! We did it! Come on, rev up! Okay. Okay, I think Song will rev up quite a lot because obviously he's the new one. Okay, where do we need to go? We need to go all the way over there. Alright, oh, same mums. Well, this is a chance to get some level up and level up as well. Let's go. Let's send uh, Sonic, uh, Salamon, and see what he can do. Ow! You plonk. I'll send uh, Sonic out uh, just because. Only because, like, obviously, Salamon uh, Stal would be. Pretty weak against these enemies because we've only just got him. So we're gonna level up for a bit and I'll we'll start using him. But well, I don't actually know. I'll try him out in a sec. But for my logic, he won't. This won't go very well. For my logic, this won't go very well. That's a snake. Now for the rest of the stream, we'll be fighting. Half fire, half exploration. Okay, let's head to Star Mountain and see what damage he can actually do. Okay, he can't defend though, so that's a bit of an issue. Okay, we're psyching up. Let's go after this guy. Yeah, it's pretty weak, so, um. We'll just send Sonic on him while he's revving up. We might need to use some fireballs on these guys. They're water enemies as well, so this might work better. There's some health orbs over there. I'm not running away, I'm not on. A wimp! There you go. <laughs> Look at my stick wand! <laughs> Look at that wand. Okay, now we're all, well, we're nearly all on level 6. This, this is definitely a good place to get some like leveling up. Because there's pretty much a low chance we're gonna get past these enemies. Okay, it's just one of them. Watch this! Okay, Sonic, it's up to you, my guy. Ow. These swords are actually good against this guy. Like, yeah. I know these are like I'm we gonna have to upgrade my sword every once in a while, but so far he's working on that. It's going up very slowly. Plus, we're getting money from this as well. Can't go over that way. We have to go down here. And then hopefully I don't die while doing this. Because I don't want to die so early in the game. Because usually I'll, that usually happens like later on. Oh, I was going to try to get snuck up on him then. We can do this. Okay. <laughs> Just let Sonic out. He's a beast. With this sword, he's a bathroom beast. Ooh. I'm gonna need to have my health up. My health is a bit low. Right, Sonic, out, back out. I need to keep an eye on my own health. Yeah, Sonic's a beast, but... I still need to keep an eye on my health as well. You'll be hearing that music quite a lot throughout this Let's Play. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try to do some, like, grinding off-camera. I know in easy mode you don't really need to, but... Just so... Because obviously I didn't do off... Like, I just avoided all fighting at, at every cost, like, half... Like, the last half of my rest play, so... I don't really want to go through that again. And then raging at every boss I see, because I suck at everything. Oh, that's a bit stupid. Right. Let's do a fireball on this, to get him a bit weak. And then we can send Sonic out and do, a um, Cut loose? There you go. Boom. Nito! Hopefully I get up to... Because I've only got 8 MP left. I want to save as much as I can. can't No, I can't get across it, can I? I'm gonna have to, I think I'm going to have to go this way. I think I'm going to have to save my MP for like, even touches and stuff. 
Okay, Sonic, again! Whilst that one levels up, I'm gonna just use him. Go on then, you stupid plonker. Come on then, come on then, big man. Ha, <laughs> there, that was easy enough. Obviously we won, but the main coward is we need to win. <laughs> we nearly have level 7 actually, so... After when I level up, my health will go back up. So I just need to make sure I don't die before it. Oh, there's a chest. A poison be gone. I'm guessing that if I get poisoned by stuff. Alright, that's hell and that's handy. Oh God's sake, I've just backtracked myself. Oh, there's stupid of rat bots. Alright. Now, you use Sonic again. I'm just trying to let Salmon rev level up first before I do anything else. Oh, there's a health bar there. I'm gonna need that. There you go. Do well so far. I'm trying to make sure my health doesn't go low because if my familiar is getting knocked out, I'm knocked out as well. Well, because there's no such thing as death in this game. You just get knocked out, which is fair enough. But this is a kid's game, so you don't really want death in your kid's game. I'm trying to make sure I don't... No, no. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm not going to avoid them anyway, so... Plus, it's better if I just fight them anyway. There's only one. We can do this. Plus, I need to level up anyway. I need to level up anyway, because I think there's a bit with, like, a magic... You need to use, like, a magic ball or something. I forgot what it was, but I swear there was in this area. Nito! You have to use, like, mag like fireballs or something. Or, like, something magic-related. Oh, I need one more. I need to do one more battle before I could do anything. I right, open the door. Oh, yeah. This is how it was, so I'm going to need to fight one more plonk before I could do anything about that. Because you need to use fireballs and... Yeah, you need to like, keep using your fireball spell. Let's do it. So yeah, that's I need to I need to level up first so I can actually like, get my magic back. Oh no, this is not good. Need uh, this health point. Okay, let's head back to fighting. I didn't please you make sure I don't die. Ow, ow. Okay, come on. Boom. Please say I've leveled up now. Nito! Bingo! There you go. Pretty much my health, my health and magic will go back up now, so this is handy. There you go, now we can head back. And then we can do this puzzle. Hmm, I reckon that might, I might be of worth trying to write these, oi boy. It's a hell of damp in here. Those frames won't last long. Okay, so I need a fireball. Keep using fireball. There you go. Speedy, speedy. Right, let's go. Can I always have a checkpoint? Which way do we go? I'm not going that way. I'm guessing it's down here. Maybe. Oh, why did you always have to turn round? Let's do it. I don't really want to use any magic, just in case we might need that puzzle again. We might have to do that again. So just in case, I'm just gonna just spam the X button. Let's be able to talk like half these early battles are just spam the X button until they're dead. Star Wars nearly caught up. Star Wars nearly like caught up to our levels. That was fast, is it? Oh, for God's sake, snake. This is like, you could barely sneak up on them because they pretty much nearly turn around as soon as you touch them. And it gets annoying. I don't care. Ha! I stopped you from using it. We won! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Plonk.
Okay, I think we might need to do this again. Um, run for it! Seriously, can we run a bit quick, are we, boy? Jesus. I think this might last a bit longer. Depends out because they're quite far away from each other. Ah, uh, come on, Ollie boy. I've only got a certain number of these left. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. No, not that. There you go. No, 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 no. Oh god, I've... how many MP do I have? Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna need to save that just because I might need a hit and touch. What does it have a post then? I'm gonna need that. Dead. Bing bang. Oh, there's a save point nearby. One of those save points I can regen my health. Storms are new on level 6. Damn. Okay. So I'm gonna need a save point because there's only a matter of time before I go. I have to start all of this again. Okay, so it looks like we're going the right. Oh, what the hell are those things? Whoa! <laughs> what the hell are those things? Watch this. What the hell are those things? Oh, they don't, they don't seem that, they, they may be bigger, but they're not exactly like the strongest either, so, you know, I don't really have to worry about them. Pebble Pelt, what the hell's Pebble Pelt? Alright, fight we're nearly there. I'm going to need to dodge these son of a plonkers. Uh, oh, oh! I pretty much ran away from one and just went into another one. But it's one of these dangle with fish, so this should this should be easy enough. I know I'm not using Salmon, but he's still very weak. I've only just got him, so oh, beautiful! Of course we won. We got the beast Sonic and Salmon on our side. Ah, oh, there's a. Chester, right? Am I going the right way? Just trying to sneak up on these plonkers. There you go. This should be easy enough. We can do this. I can take these out in just a few hits. By the time, well, he's gonna notice me now. Yeah, but he's half his health is pretty much raw anyway, so. I need that, and then slice him in the face. I need that big help. Oh. Okay, we got it. Just about. I just about got my health up. Uh, hmm. Where do we need to go? Not that way. So it must be this way then. Ah, there. Okay. I feel like this is going to be a boss fight, so I'm just going to save the game now, and then, um... And then I'll do these these battles over here, because why not? Just to get a bit stronger. And then... I'll do this guy over here, and then, um... Yeah, we're going to do the boss fight. Come on, you plonker. Bring it on! Let's go. <laughs> He's not doing anything to me. He did nothing. Weak fam. Right, let's go do the boss fight. I didn't want to get rid of that guy first because he was annoying me. <laughs> he was annoying me, so 
Well, we, well, we don't need to save the game. We just get my health back up. Health or not. I know my health is already up, but never mind. Never, never hurts. If it never hurts in it. So just do this. There you go. And then let's head up. Because we've already saved anyway. I was seeing King Tom in it. It's you two. Look, one has retrieved one's wand. <laughs> huh? So he wasn't kidnapped. Say <laughs> oh, The crook struck one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you to turn your back on me, you old tomfool, you. <laughs> Hickory Dock. <laughs> Is one huge rodent. You squeaklings work for the fat cat, do you? Uh, no, we we are too slow. Ah! Right, Sonic, your turn. Oh, you should be bagger. Ah, oh, you should be kicking the bagger out of me. Oh, there we go. I've been trying to do that. Come on in, you plonker. Maybe turn off Sonic and let's sell him, see what he could do. Right, psyching him up. And then bing bang bong. Does it do too much, but. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see what my fireballs can do against him. Ooh, that's actually good, you know. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> I've been trying to do that in the last episode, but it didn't work. So I'm gonna get this back and then fire it back. You could do if you could use mouth fire, so can I. But I want that. You know those supercharged grim things. Now this will be overkill for this. Good. I've already got him down to half health. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Oh no, that actually does quite a lot of damage. So I'm gonna need a. I'm going to have to keep an eye on my magic. I need to keep an eye on it just because I need to do a few more healing touches. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, there's, there's a few. Ha, <laughs> you plonker! Aha, the old furry fool's got to knock him and tripped himself up. Now's your chance to give him a good hiding here, or you, or you boy. I couldn't read that. Right, no, let's have Sonic out, because he does good damage. Oh, that didn't, that didn't work, did it? Come on then. <laughs> this does good damage against it, but well, I'm just gonna stick to the fireballs unless we run out of magic, which is not really looks like it's gonna happen. Oh, look at these big magic. If I keep doing that. He's nearly weak as well. Just a few more of these fireballs. And that'll be him gone. Bring it on. Oh, well, that didn't work. Mouse fire. Right, another fireball. One more. One more should do it. No. What more of these fireballs should do? Wait. Okay, that didn't work. So I give him with a wand. Just trying to make sure I get far away from away from him. I'm getting these magic points. Bye bye. Oh, right in the face. We won. That was easy. Well, obviously this is the second boss fight, so it kind of has to be. Come on, give me the levels. Level A, we all leveled up. Let's go. I reach level A. Sonic reach level A. Stan reach level A. Or seven, even. Never mind. You dirty rats! I'll get you next time. Nick, he got away, and he got another super catchphrase to end before he left at all. 
Never mind about that, Mr. Jibby. What about King Tom? You're right, man. We better see how he's doing. You're me out, you're okay. Oh, it's you. Come on, King Face, put yourself together. One's what? Okay. Meow, meow, just see. Nickers, 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 nickers. You're meow, just see. You're meow, just see. I can't read. The zodiacs are assembled. Your radiance. Oh, I is, thank the, you is that witch woman? Very well. I hereby call the council to order. You are all doubtless aware of the purpose of this session. We are here to discuss the elimination of the pure-hearted one. Come before us, Dark Jin. You summoned me, White Witch. The so-called savior from the other world. He must be destroyed. Shadar, it is time that you prove that yourself off. worthy of the title of Executor. On one condition. Ha! The insolence! He presumes to bargain with our queen? Go on. Very well. I must request that you entrust this task to me and me alone. Hear me, members of the council. I have no need of your aid. He thinks himself our equal. What gives him the right? He is either very brave or... To presume to give us orders. Babbling fools. Silence! Very well. You will have your wish, Shadar. I entrust the task entirely to you. Teach those who speak of a savior. The futility of their hope. It shall be done. This Oliver, this savior, I will taint his heart with the blackness of despair. Wow. <laughs> wow. And that's the first time I've probably seen Shudar, so I wish you know what it looks like now. If one thanks you once, one thanks you a thousand times. You saved one's life back there. Looks like you're feeling better now, you me majesty. But you weren't kidnapped after all, that's funny. My reasoning was a bit off. <clears throat> you don't think I'm losing my touch, do you, Ollie boy? I'm just glad the king is safe, and the most important thing is, isn't it, you me majesty? Hmm, never mind all that. Just in one perfect way with it, that, the, the, that, that villain hickory dog got the better of one. But, and all because the, lo the loss of one enthusiasm led one to be caught catnapping. The thing he managed to- alright, oh screw it. Once one is back in one's possession now, and the main thing is one can finally bestow it on- it put it onto you, whatever. Bring forth one's wand, you plot, you dosh, it's not you. This is one's magic wand. Yeah, I'm not stupid. When one was a kitten, one ran quite wild with the old thing. Here, it is yours now. Thank you very much, your meow just the... If you know who finds out about this, one fears we shall both live to regret it. But one can hardly say no to one so very pure. When you say you know who, you mean Shadar, don't you? Eh? <laughs> There's no need to say it out loud, is there? But yes, that is who one means. You are Meow Justy. You've gone and given him the wand. Now there's no going back. One supposes so. Don't worry, you are Meow Justy. I'll bring down Shadar. You'll see. Oh, oh, scary. You obtained a magic wand. Good. That's pretty much what I spent the last two episodes doing. Now, for coming to what to one's aid in one's hour of need, let one present to you a new magic. One hopes it will provide useful. Okay, the frostbite spell. Oh, golly, thanks again, you meow I can't wait to try these. And we're coming the best wizard ever. Who very eager are we? And in that case, there's a forest south of one's kingdom cut up, known as the Golden Grove, and one, and beyond it lies a vast desert. In the midst of that desert it is the city of Al Mamun. You must travel there next. Its ruler is somewhat, but never mind that, Rashad. One of the four great sages, one dwells there. 
and so does one presumes. The Great Sages, you mean the proper mighty wizards Arishia used to be part of. Arishia. <clears throat> if you wish to expand on your magical knowledge, one is sure the aid of these sages will provide useful. Louis, thank you very much, Mio Justy. Waito is off to the desert to find the Great Sage, innit, Ollie boy? Oh, Mamoon, here we come. See you later, Maiji. I'll probably, I'll get, I'll probably head up to the forest and then I will probably end the stream and then do head to Alma Moon and that get, and get to the get to the forest and get to Alma Moon tomorrow. That will probably be tomorrow's plan, but when we just um, get to the Golden Grove Forest first, because you know there'll be like a spoiler for if you can wait for tomorrow. So pretty much, yeah, pretty much tomorrow will be a bit of a longer stream because obviously I won't be able to stream Monday, but. This one's a bit more of a shorter one. Well, I don't really know how long it's been going on for. Let me just walk while I'm walking. Um, an hour and 16. So it's not... It's longer than... It's meant to be like... This one was meant to be an hour. So I've done it longer than I was... Than I intended to. So, you know. Whoop, whoop in it. <laughs> so, I'll head to the forest. And then, um... I'll end this stream. And then, to, in, in next next video, we'll... Um, we'll um, actually, like... Go get to the go well, yeah, we'll get to Alma Moon and get through the forest and receive the Great Sage. Okay, so that's the plan then. Right, out into the wilderness now. Here we go, are we boy? Now our adventure can really begin. You've be even got yourself a proper one now and everything. You bet I bet you're excited. I sure am. Right, this is our well adventure Nino currently properly begins now. Right, we could do some do some battles. I bet Sonic would be overkill with mate with his sword. Let's go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one hit, <laughs> one hit sword. That's actually overkill. Overkill. No, oh, don't be such a wimp. Look at this damage. Actually, I sent Stalin out after the, the next battle because, because obviously um, I've not used him much yet. Okay, so I'll probably try and like a bit of grind out of side video because obviously these 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 mobs don't really give me anything. They do they do they do help a bit. Like they only give like a few like XP levels. So. I'll probably just grind a bit in like the forest because there's no doubt in my mind there's gonna be like mobs, but I'm not gonna like do any storyline stuff. I'm just gonna do some grinding for a bit. Go on, Stalin. Oh There you go. We did it! Aha! Right, let's head to the forest, shall we? Okay, the forest is over there actually, so. It shouldn't take long. Plonk, it missed me. Okay, it looks like it's over there. Alright, same mums. Are you actually trying to face me? You dumb. If you face me, certain death, you know. Right, here we are. The Golden Grove. Here we go. This is going to be fun. Okay. Golden Grove, Forest of Plenty. Plenty of what? Plenty of monsters for me to die, possibly. Here we are, Golden Grove. A quick stroll through here and we'll be out on the other side and into the desert in no time. Tidy. Jeepers, creepers, look at these giant mushrooms. They're so different from the deep dark wood. You're not long, Nori boy. There's another type of woodland altogether. To this, no offense to old tree face, but the soil is by is just better. Proper fertile, it is. The trees are weighed down with fruit and nuts all, all year round. And that's why they call it the Forest of Plenty. Oh, that's why they call it the Forest of Plenty, eh? 
Ah, it's been a while since I dropped by. There's nostalgic, full of fairies, this old place is. Shall I give the boys a shout? Yes, please, Mr. Trippy. Oi, how do, boys? Anyone about? It's me, Trippy. Nobody's home. What, no welcoming committee for the High Lord of the Fairies? Something's proper weird is going on, man. No fairies in town, and none in the forest, neither. What happened to them all? Maybe we should go deep into the forest, and see if we should be able to find some more. There. Since we're going that way anyway, let's just push through to our moon and see what we can get, shall we? Okay, boy. Hope you like it. I sure hope I get we get to meet some of your fairy friends. Fairy friends, Mr. Trippy. Right. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to do that in the next episode. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this stream here. We've done good progress today. Well, we did more... Well, <laughs> well our adventure Nino Kuni is literally just beginning. But yeah, I just want to say... Uh, Thank you very much for watching, and um, do really please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, see when the next video comes out. And tomorrow's stream, we'll be heading through the forest and getting to Alma Moon and see this great sage with Shad, or whatever his name was. Was it a Shad? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, I think I talked a bit too quick today, so my throat hurts right now, but yeah, there'll be another stream tomorrow, not Monday. I'll just tell you quickly about how this is going to go, so... Pretty much, um, um, so pretty much tomorrow we'll be doing Nino Kuni, duh. I won't be doing any video on Monday, Tuesday Epic World, Wednesday or Thursday, maybe. Yeah, Wednesday or Thursday, definitely Nino Kuni. Don't know what day Pacific though, you just have to find out. Friday Epic World, Friday, Sat Friday Saturday, no, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, it'll be back to normal. It'll be pretty much how I, how I explained it in ye yesterday's, no, not yesterday's video, um, my um in the first episode be sadly Sunday and Monday Nino Kuni so pretty much next week he'll be back to how it was originally like exactly how I planned it Ugh, what does he have to say anyway hi it's always a relief when you happen to cross a waste drone but you're showing like my mom's boiled squid cakes mm, it's like a squid game isn't it I don't know what he means by that but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this live stream. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications when the next episode comes out. As I said, tomorrow, tomorrow's stream will be heading to uh, um, through the Golden Grove and heading to Alma Moon to see Rashad, I think his name was. That's a weird name. Can't lie, but yeah. I'm not going to waste any more of your time now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for Nino Kuni, Rothwai Witch Part 3. See ya. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. See you guys, see you tomorrow. Peace out, bros.